If these were the streets of the United States of America, they would be teeming with homeless people. There'd be a sea of tents as far as the eye can see. But it's not. We're in China. And where are all the homeless people? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, then my name is Jason, AK Waman Cobra, AK Mr. Yoisu, AK Hamba Wang. Now, today, we're gonna be scouring this entire city from top to bottom, and we're gonna be looking for homeless people. Will we find any? Stay tuned. In the US, currently, there's a huge homeless problem. Now, it's kind of difficult to pinpoint the main cause of homelessness. It's a complex problem with a variety of underlying and economic social factors, such as poverty, lack of affordable housing, uncertain physical mental health, addictions, community and family breakdown. You know, there's many factors that cause homelessness. If I was sat on this bench in the US right now, or in Europe, or in the UK, in the West somewhere, right? I would be sat next to a homeless person. And many of these benches, they would all be occupied and filled by beggars or homeless people. But for some reason, here in China, there seems to be none. Why is that? And what's the difference between China and the US? One of the reasons I would say is that Chinese people are very hard working. If they can find a way to earn money, they will. They're not going to sit there on the street with a handout asking for something from someone. It's kind of a dignity kind of thing. If they can find a way, they will. It's a lovely day to explore. The birds are chirping. Oh, the skies are blue. This guy playing on his phone there. Eh? Got some old timers. Old timers playing cards in a park. Someone's abandoned a bouquet of flowers there. Should I pick them up and give them to Jiao? And <laughs> say I bought them. Uh, just sat down on the street here. I'm starting to look like a homeless person. I'm the only homeless person in China. Ah, what a beautiful day, eh? Just sat here, enjoying the streets of China. Look over there, look at that Tesla. It's got a weird uh, two-tone on it. In the US, they've got a huge drug problem, drug abuse problem, right? The drug use death rate per 100,000 people in the US is 10.81. That is the second highest in the entire world. Right, what's China's? 1.84 per 100,000 people. China is ranked 51st. The stats don't lie, my friends. The stats don't lie. Stone forest this way. For example, like this, this park. They would just be homeless people laid out or there'd be a tent set up over there with about four crack add addicts inside. China, nope. Any homeless? No. Just an IE checking uh, TikTok, most likely. Old guy just sat in the park. Most likely checking TikTok also. <laughs> Unemployment. You would think that is the main factor causing homelessness, right? You don't have a job. What is the unemployment rate in the US? Well, I can tell you in 2020, it was 5.4. Wow, a Ducati, Ducati motorbike right, riding past. What was I saying? 5.4% unemployment rate in the US. 3.8% in China. Not that much of a difference, right? But I think the difference is, if you are unemployed in China, you've always got your Lao Jia, your family home, your hometown, your mom and dad's house. 
Everyone's always got their family in China to go back to their house, even if they don't have a job or they're an alcoholic or whatever. At the end of the day, they can always go back. You don't have to go out on the streets. Chinese families are much, much closer. They, they support each other. Even their extended family and cousins, they're all really close together. I think that is one of the, the differences uh, between China and America. I mean, there's none here. I mean, all there is is that there's an egg on the floor there. I don't know why there's a, uh, a cracked raw egg on the floor. But there's no homeless people. I can tell you that. Just people enjoying this uh, park here. This little kid rollerblading. A guy just waved at me, stopped on his bike. Hello? Photo? Oh, oh, what a fan. Oh, oh, she's she, she, she. I like your video very much. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, that's me. This is a war. Jason, <laughs> you're, you're in the video. Hello, hello. The Zhongwen, yeah. How well, about you? How well, about you? What, what a Zhongwen, Bohao. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, your video, I saw. Most. Oh, they, most. you saw my video the most? Yes. Ah, yes. wow. What, yes. What's your, your bike? And Let's uh, look at your the, bike. The bicycle in Xinyi is the first oh. one. Wow, look at this. This is the first bicycle in, in yes. Xinyi city? It has, wow, Toma. It has uh, electric. Oh, electric bike. Yes. Oh, wow. It looks cool. It looks nice. Wow. You can try. I can try? Yes. Okay, I'm going to try um, this. Uh, what's your name? Gong. My name is Gong <laughs> Bichuan. <laughs> Gong Bi Chen. Yes. Okay, so Gong Bi Chen is just let me uh, try his bike and we're gonna have a quick ride on his bike. Yes. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh wow, it's smooth. It's a smooth ride. Excuse me, sorry about that. What can I say? Big time vlogger now getting recognized on the street. <laughs> No, I'm just joking. Um, if you do recognize me whilst I'm out filming, don't worry, just come up and come up and say hello. Um, get in, you can get yourself in the video. If you want to be in the video, that is. Another factor, the cost of living here in China is significantly cheaper than it is in the US. Now, I don't know if you've noticed over my shoulder, Burger King there. I'm gonna have to go and pop in there later. I could do with a burger. Rent costs, transportation, food, utilities, internet. It's all way cheaper here in China than it is in the US. Joey B, why can't you sort out some affordable housing for the citizens of your country? Get them off the streets. Why are they sleeping rough on the streets? Why are you sat in your mansion in the White House? <sighs> Joey B. We are here at a huge relocation housing complex that the government has built to relocate thousands of people from the countryside into the city centers to provide them with a better standard of living and more opportunities and facilities in their life. On this street you can see there's a fire station, there's a police station, there's a family uh, community center. You can see up there they've got the uh, 5G towers there. High speed internet too. <laughs> Good mobile data on your phones. Providing jobs as well, right next to uh, their houses there. I wonder what they're selling. Oh, it looks like cables. Making some kind of cables. I mean, you can see the scale of this place. It is just huge. Look at this. Look at this place, it's massive. Um, and I just thought I'd show you what the Chinese government is doing for its people here. Um, there are many, many projects like this, uh, which is part of China's poverty alleviation program that is happening throughout China. Now, if you look at these apartments behind me, look how, many, look how much is available, right? One of these, to rent one of these apartments is about 17 to 20,000 RMB Hold on, wait for it. Per year, not per month. You thought I was gonna say per month, per year. Now, I know I am in a fifth tier city, which 
which is quite a low end tier city. But the stats don't lie, it's here available for you in China. There are many, many cities like this with a similar kind of rent price. Obviously, it's slightly higher uh, in first tier and second tier cities. All I can tell you is from my experience, being in this city, I've scoured it inside out and upside down. I've been across the entire city and I've never in my entire time being here, seen a homeless person. And that's the truth for you. Now, you're probably gonna say, oh, you're just showing us this nice, affluent, rich areas. No, I am in Guizhou province, one of the poorest provinces in all of China. And I'm in a fifth tier city here. And we're overlooking this park. Why is it that there's no homeless people here, but in one of the richest cities in the entire world in Los Angeles, or the richest state of California, is just teeming with homeless people. And they, I think they have the worst homelessness problem in all of the US in California. Joey B, are you gonna sort out California or what? It's an absolute state. I mean, my first time that I ever went to America, I made a huge mistake because I went to LA and we literally, we landed in LA the first day out on our trip and there was just homeless people everywhere, tents and tents. And I was like, I, I, I was truly shocked. I mean, I thought America was better than that, you know? I don't know what's going on, they've just gone downhill. Here's another clip from one of my other videos where I went to a seedy underground passage and I waited around for ages to try and see if any homeless people would turn up or anyone would turn up. So most people are gonna complain, say, oh, you was only there for one second. Maybe the homeless, the homeless person was, he'd just gone out for lunch, right? <laughs> so we're gonna stay in this tunnel. We're gonna do a little experiment and see if any homeless people come along or if any, um, if anyone comes along, any gangs or if any criminal activity happens in this tunnel. So as you can see there, we waited around for a long time in that tunnel and there was no gangs. There were no homeless came along. I actually think uh, for one second, I actually became a homeless person. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. If you are mental, you're a psycho, maybe you've lost a few marbles, right? That's why you're out on the streets. Well, in China, you will be taken care of. You'll be taken to a mental hospital or a care home where they'll take care of you. China has the money, the infrastructure, these facilities are set up. And it seems like America, maybe you're kind of lacking in that infrastructure uh, department. There's care homes and hospitals. Um, all your mental people are out on the streets roaming about, homeless. Maybe that's one of the factors, who knows? What more can I show you, you know? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna walk across this entire city because I've already done it. I've already seen it with my own eyes. 
There's no homeless people here. There's no beggars here. And that's the truth. I'm not gonna keep walking across uh, all over town because to be honest with you, I'm quite tired and I'm quite hungry now. <laughs> so, that is the end of this video. If you wanna help me out on this video, press like. And I will see you in the next one. Signing off. I'm signing off. <laughs>